do, like in the picture behind me, occurs when the air reaches the dew point. Dew point is the temperature in which water vapor condenses back into a liquid. See all this moisture behind me? This is called humidity. Humidity is the amount of water vapor in the air. This is a barometer. A barometer is an instrument that measures air pressure. This woman right here, she's a meteorologist. A meteorologist is a scientist who study the causes of weather and try to predict the weather. The picture behind me is different types of weather fronts. A front is a boundary between two air masses that have different temperatures or humidity. Behind me is a picture of a warm front. A warm front is a fast-moving warm air mass that overtakes a slowly moving cold air mass. Because cold air is denser than warm air, the warm air moves over the cold air. See this cold air coming towards me? That represents a cold front. A cold front occurs when a rapidly moving cold air mass brushes away a warm air mass. The picture behind me represents a stationary front. Stationary fronts are when cold and warm air masses meet, but neither can move the other. Red and blue dots in the picture behind me represent cold and warm molecules of air. As you can see, the cold molecules are sinking. That is because cold air is denser than warm air and will sink. As you can see from the picture next to me, warm air is less dense than cold air and will rise. High pressure represented by an H on a weather map indicates clear skies. Low pressure represented by an L on a weather map usually brings precipitation. Winds are caused by changes in air pressure. Wind moves from areas of high pressure to low pressure. Weather in the United States tends to move west to east.